This is going to be a fun interview. It's literally the closest company to my house. But well, we're going to find out the story behind GoPros. We're going to get a first look at the new 3D camera shipping this week. Nicholas Woodman, uh, founder and CEO of GoPro, uh, started GoPro back in 2002. One of our goals is to build uh, the world's most versatile camera because for, there's so many sports that people do, activities, passions that people have that we wanted to make a camera that you can use for anything. So we make a lot of different mounting accessories that take the DIY, the do-it-yourself out of figuring out how do I ski with a camera on my chest or how do I mount a camera on my car or, or how do I mount my camera to a weather balloon and go get images of near space, which a lot of people have been doing lately. Uh, so when you're successful at building a really versatile image capture device, people use it for just about everything. Let's cover the news because this week you're shipping the, the 3D Hero system. This is really exciting for us because this really is one of the world's most innovative cameras. Um, it is a 3D camera, yes, but as we discussed earlier when we were catching up, that it's, a, it's not actually a 3D camera in itself. It's really two of our 1080p HD Hero cameras um, combined into a, a housing that holds them both together. Uh, and then you use a synchronization cable uh, to join the two cameras together into perfect synchronization to shoot synchronized 3D video and photos. Uh, but you can, of course, uh, one day use them independently and then the next day shoot 3D with them, so it's super versatile. What do you have to do to get a 3D video out to the, the web? It's, yeah. real, it's really easy. The way that you do it with the 3D Hero system is both cameras are shooting their own independent 2D file and they're saving it to their own SD card. And then you, you import those onto your computer and using Cineform Studio, which again is for free download from gopro.com, automatically uh, combines those two files and spits out a side-by-side uh, -side video file that you can then upload to YouTube. And YouTube can play that back side-by-side -side or uh, in any number of ways. YouTube knows how to take a side-by-side -side video and, and play it back as anaglyph, side-by-side -side for playback on passive or active shutter 3D TVs. One way to think about our software is it takes in your two video files and spits out one 3D file. GoPro is used by so many professionals to capture unique perspectives that weren't possible before. The Discovery Channel was mounting the camera on shark fins for sh during Shark Week, and so you were swimming around on a shark from the shark's perspective, things like that, that you just simply couldn't do before GoPro. So it's, so it's fun to hear that. I know that it's one of the tools of choice for field reporting, for the CNNs and the, the 60 Minutes of the World going and doing war reports and stuff like that. GoPro had really humble beginnings, and I think that, uh, you know, my message to entrepreneurs is uh, to keep it low cost. You know, you got to have no overhead, and you might have to move back in with your mom and dad to do it. Um, but uh, I like to say GoPro is a, an overnight eight-year, nine-year success. It's taken that long.